Hello, I'm Andrew Bowden from Rambling Man website, uh, ramblingman.org.uk. Uh, and you join me in Wiltshire, a couple of miles from Salisbury in the grounds of Clarendon Park. And Clarendon Park is named after Clarendon Palace, which was a, a Norman hunting lodge that was uh, favoured by Henry II and expanded by the Plantagenets into a great manor house in later years. And uh, this flint wall here uh, is literally all that remains of it now. Um, the reason I'm here, uh, surrounded by llamas, who uh, are sort of over there, uh, oh, <laughs> scratching their head on the gravel. I'm not quite sure why there's llamas here, but you know, let's not worry about that. Uh, yeah, the reason why I'm here is I'm doing the uh, Clarendon Way, which is a 24-mile walk uh, between the cathedral cities of uh, Salisbury. The, the llamas are putting me off. Uh, it's a 24-mile walk between the cathedral cities of Winchester and Salisbury, and we left Salisbury about uh, an hour or so ago. Uh, and it's 24 miles across Hampshire and Wiltshire and uh, over this course of this video I'm just going to show you some of the highlights of it and uh, show you why it's quite a nice sort of walk to do on a November, sort of vaguely misty November day. So the, the plan for this walk is pretty simple, 24 miles it splits up quite neatly into two day chunks. There's a little village uh, called King Somborn, kind of halfway along between the two cities. And that's where we're going to stop the night works. You're going to walk up from there up to a little village called Stockbridge and stay in a, some sort of medieval coaching inn, yay. Uh, and uh, hopefully see some more of these things on the way. Probably not though. Nothing beats walking down a good long alleyway. We just walked through the village of Middle Winterslow, which according to my Clarendon Way leaflet printout from the Hampshire County Council website, is home of the famous truffle hunters. No, I never heard of them either. Well around here this is a Roman road and it's uh, right next to this uh, bit of woodland here called Nodes Cops and apparently if you listen carefully, you can still hear the uh, the sound of the Roman soldiers as they march down this road to uh, towards Winchester. Fortunately, all we've heard on this road is the sound of pheasants squawking noisily as we approach. So this is uh, the River Test, uh, don't know why it's called the River Test, it's the Test Valley, someone must have passed a maths test or something and like to name the entire place after their celebrated maths test, maybe they got an A, they were really proud, who knows. Uh, but this is just outside a little village called King Sombol, which is just that way, uh, by about a quarter of a mile, half a mile, something like that. And uh, in a minute we're going to go... Uh, follow a path goes roughly up that way uh, to 
a village called Stockbridge, which is where we're staying the night. Um, and we've done about, we don't know, 14 miles today, and then we're going to finish off the remainder, ten, remaining 10 miles to Winchester tomorrow. Uh, but as you can see, it's getting slightly dark. The uh, the sun went down, just gone, uh, hit the horizon a short while ago. So let's hope it's uh, still just a little bit of light to guide us into Stockbridge. Where we'll be going to an ancient droving inn or something. Now you've seen a picture of the exciting inn, it's time to fade to me tomorrow morning. Well, good morning, day two, 10 miles to Winchester via uh, Farley Mount Country Park uh, and beautiful sunshine, not many clouds in the sky and plenty of people on bikes. Let's go! a bit of uh, suburbia near Winchester which means the journey is almost to an end but not without visiting two more attractions. Well, this is site one and I'm sure you'll agree it's totally amazing. This is an area of Winchester called Oliver's Battery and it can, is named after the fact that in this area in the Civil War, Oliver Cromwell uh, erected his camp here. Well, here we are in uh, Winchester, which is the end of the Clarendon Way, uh, outside the, uh, the huge cathedral here. Uh, so we've done our 24 miles now. Um, from here you could go anywhere, you could go up to Farnham on the St Swithin's Way to uh, meet with the North Downs Way, or you could just head off on the South Downs Way and help go all the way to Eastport. But for me, well, I think I'm going to go home. See you soon.